الحمد للہ رب العالمین اللہ صلی وسلم مبارک علیہ سیدنا مولانا محمد و علیہ و صحاب اجمائن الحمد للہ وی آر گوئنگ تھرو دی امیزنگ جرنی آف دی دی کریکٹرسٹکس دی آؤٹر اپیئرنس آف دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایز ڈسکرائب ٹو آس بائی ہند ابن ابی حالہ ان ہز فیمس حدیث دیٹ از فاؤنڈ ان دا کلیکشن آف امام ترمیدی وی ہیو کم ٹو دا ڈسکرپشن آف دی آئیز دا بلیسڈ آئیز آف دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ وی آر ٹولڈ دیٹ ہز آئیز و براڈ اینڈ وائڈ ہز آئیز و براڈ اینڈ وائڈ اینڈ ایٹ دا کارنرز آف ہز آئیز وار اے بٹ ایکسٹینڈیڈ اینڈ دی ایربس انٹرسٹنگلی ہیو اے ٹرم فار دس آلسو دے کال اٹ ال انجل when the uh, when you when the corners of the eyes are extended they call this al anjal so they might perhaps say something like al ainuhu najla his eye is extended on the side when they when they give this description and it is it is a source or it is considered uh, as beautiful to have extended eyes So we are told that they were broad, his eyes were broad and wide uh, as, as far as their uh, physical uh, description is concerned. We are told that the pupils of the Prophet Sallallahu eyes were extremely uh, black and that in the whiteness of his eyes, there was some redness. In the part that is white, there was some redness. And this was a description uh, in previous scriptures as well. When the, uh, the previous uh, communities who are informed about the coming of the final prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were given this description of the redness uh, in in the eye of of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who was to come and our scholars tell us that this was this state of his eyes was due to the great concern he had for his ummah uh, the worry that he carried uh, upon his shoulders uh, for his ummah and because of his excessively crying during salah when he was in communion with his lord and we are told that the inner part of his eyes the part that was close uh, to the nose was was red also coming to his eyelashes hind ibn abi hala tells us that his eyelashes were slightly long and curved that his eyelashes had three qualities firstly that they were dense they were thick secondly that they were long and thirdly that they were slightly inclined so subhanallah this is the extent to which uh, the eyelashes of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam were observed by those who were close to him the great detail and depth in into which in in which they put in their description we are told that his eyes appeared as if they had kohal or antimony uh, applied to them his lower eyelid had a black line as if he had applied kohal but he had not applied it although we know that he used to apply it sometimes to his eyes just as his physical eye was beautiful so was his inner eye so he had very sharp strong eyesight we are told about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are told that he loved looking at water and that he loved looking at fruits and the reason uh, for this the scholars tell us is because it was an opportunity for him to ponder and reflect at the creation at the marvels at the beauty of the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the different colors of the fruits he didn't stare into people's eyes he he could not and he, he did not have this habit of looking directly into people's eyes when he addressed them when he uh, spoke to them and we are told that he could see at night just as he could see during the day that there was no difference in his vision uh, during these different times and he could see behind him as well as he could see in front of him and that we are told a thing of marvel is that he could see 11 stars of the constellation of thuraya the thuraya constellation when it was uh, considered to have seven stars the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam could see 11 stars with his naked eyes uh, in that constellation and he saw with his eyes that which no eye in existence has the ability to see he saw allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the night of isra wal miraj as we know and we pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to see the face of our rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam because whenever whoever and whenever you see that face he has seen that person has seen the face that saw allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and can can there be any greater miracle than this it is said that moses sent the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam again and again on the night of uh, isra wal miraj to decrease the salah for the ummah of the prophet as we are very well aware and he was desiring to see the face that was seeing allah prophet moses 
Musa alayhi salam was desiring to see the face that was seeing Allah. And when Moses asked to see Allah, Allah said, Lan tarani, you will not be able to look at me. But now Moses had the opportunity of seeing the light of, of Allah being manifest on the face of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, which is why he kept on sending the Prophet again and again to reduce the number of salah from 50 to 5 for his ummah so that he could get uh, some of the lights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the face of the Prophet uh, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And as we know, uh, beautifully, the, the ulema tell us that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to look at the people, used to look at his ummah with the eye of mercy. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to listen to the descriptions of the Prophet sallallahu to allow us to create the image of the Prophet sallallahu in our mind, to allow us to see his most beloved in our dreams, to allow us to walk upon the path of his sunnah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.